Hello everyone, so I've been using this 2-cell 800 milliamp hour LiPo for my transmitter for a long time and I just want some more capacity for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 4-cell 1300 with a dead cell that's doing nothing because it has a dead cell and I'm going to turn it into a 2-cell LiPo. So I'm just kind of going to show you guys what I'm going to do. Uh, you can try this kind of thing at your own risk. I'll just be showing you guys the process of me doing this. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the covering off this battery so we can work with it. Okay, so now we have to make sure we don't touch any of these exposed leads here. And we're going to desolder all these wires off of here because we need to rewire everything. So we're going to use the two middle cells for our two cell. And we're going to carefully separate this. And then I'm just going to cut the tabs off because they're not soldered together. They're like welded together. So now I'm going to check the voltages to make or just to see like what's positive what's negative so now I won't get confused hopefully so I have a JST and then um, a balance plug so I'm gonna shorten this JST because it's obnoxiously long I'll go ahead and turn all these pads to All right, so how we're going to do this is we're going to take the power wire, and that's going to be the two outermost tabs, no matter how many cells you're doing. So here I have positive on the side facing me. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then we have negative on the other side. Okay, and for the balance lead, I have this balance lead here, so we're going to take the wires out. Okay, and now we're going to take the nice silicon wires from the old balance plug. We're only going to need three because we're doing a 2S. And we're going to steal them from here. Okay, so now we have our three wires, and then we're going to put them in this two-cell balance plug, and we'll use our other battery as reference on how they go. So the red is on the right side. There we go. So I'm going to trim this because it's obnoxiously long. Actually, I'm going to leave the middle one longer because it will have to reach so the middle one has to go there so we'll cut it okay so now we're gonna solder this on get the two leads on the end the red and the black those are going to match up with the power leads. And then the middle leads are your balance leads. So in this case, there's only one, but they should just go in order. 
depending on how many cells you have. Just go right down the line of all these intermediate connections that you'll have. Okay, so we should be done soldering. Let's go ahead and give this a quick test. So what I'm going to do to test this is I have a battery checker and this is uh, reverse polarity protected and all that stuff. So if it works, and we did our wiring right, so negative goes down here on the bottom. If we plug it in, two cells. And it works. I'm going to reuse this tape and cover up the solder joints to avoid short circuits. I'll go wrap this in some uh, colorful tape to finish it off. All right, so here we have the finished two cell battery. You could cover this in heat shrink if you wanted to, but I don't have heat shrink that big. So that's pretty much it for this one. You guys can try this at your own risk. Uh, just make sure that you do not short your cells out when you're doing all that soldering and cutting the tabs. And also make sure that you do not puncture your cells at any point because you'd have a bad day if you did either of those things. It is kind of dangerous, but it does give your batteries a new lease on life and it prevents you from just throwing them out or recycling them. So try it at your own risk. If you guys like this video, please like it. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see in the future and get subscribed if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching.